Hey guys, um, so I'm going to do a video today because Christmas is coming up, it's in a few weeks, and people are all the time telling me, I don't know what to get you for Christmas. So I figured I'd do a video, and there's a lot of other videos out there, but I want to show you kind of all the stuff that you could put into like a stocking, and you're not spending a whole bunch of money, you know, because sometimes you might not want to spend a whole bunch of money on somebody, or you might not have the money. So I came up with some ideas here that you can get the gun person in your life. It's usually stuff that they could always use or whatever. And like I said, it fits, it fits in a stocking. You know, you could build a stocking out of this and not spend very much money. So uh, yeah, let's get into it. And this is the, this is the gift guide ideas for 2020. I'm going to start off here with kind of an honorable mention because this is these are kind of specific so one thing you could do is magazines and the reason you know you got to know what kind of firearm what kind of gun the person's got you know whether it's a pistol you know because you got to know what they have or if it's a rifle this is an AR-15 magazine if you know somebody that has an AR-15 these are Magpul P Mags. I would suggest these. These are the best ones on the market. You can't beat them. There's there's nothing wrong with them. When it comes to pistol magazines, you really got to know what they have. Um, whether they have a Glock, they have a Beretta, whatever they have. Um, Smith and Wesson. Best thing to do is try to stick to factory magazines. But if not, there are a couple brands that I suggest. And I also said there's a couple brands I say stay away from. Anything from Metgar, um, Metgar, uh, Wilson Combat, if it's a 1911, um, companies like that. Uh, stay away from stuff like uh, Promag. You don't want anything from them. They're cheap, they're garbage. So stay away from Promag. Try to stay at a factory or Companies like Metgar, Wilson Combat, um, just check out the reviews on uh, AR mags, Magpul P mags, um, Lancer mags, Hex mags, those are all really good. Uh, pretty much, you know, your C Products magazines, which are metal ones, you know, um, those are pretty good. OK Industries, Sure Feeds, those are all really good. Stay away from Pro Mag. It's, when it comes to AR mags, also stay away from stuff like Tapco and stuff like that. So I just want to get that out of the way because that's kind of an honorable mention. Next, kind of falls into the same category but not as specific. I want to talk about speed loaders for revolvers. Now these speed strips, you just only have to know the caliber. And that's it. And however many you want. With these, it's a little bit more. You gotta know the caliber, but you also gotta know like not all of these will just fit in one gun. But these, this one right here, will fit um, most of your Smith and Wesson's six-shot revolvers and your Tauruses. So, and they also might work on some Rugers. I'm not exactly sure. I will have uh, links for some of these products down in the description. So, um, take a look at those. Not everything will be linked because not everything is some of this stuff you can get at Walmart and I'll tell you what you can and can't. Alright, next we will do Snap Cap Dummy Ammunition. These are great for training and they make a great stocking stuffer idea. These ones are for pistols. These are for 38 and 357. These ones are uh, 12 gauge for shotguns so they come in all different calibers so once again these are a little bit more specific you got to kind of know what the person's got but they pretty much make these in every caliber so uh, these are really great uh, gift ideas because people you know they're great for training all right next we'll move on to some range gear now this, the stuff I'm going to show you is kind of stuff that's more disposable. And uh, 
So because that stuff gets used up and us gun guys, you know, sometimes we're like, man, I gotta go get more of that stuff. I gotta spend more money. That's ammo I could be buying. So anybody that can get this stuff, you know, as a gift idea or whatever, and a stocking stuffer, you're like, all right, now I don't have to buy it. So let's start off with uh, some basic hearing protection. You got the little orange foam ones. These come in really handy, especially if you shoot in an indoor range, because you can fold them up, stuff them in your ear, and then put your ear earmuffs over them, whether it's electronic or not. These ones are a little bit better. Um, I actually like these a lot. I use these because I shoot in an outdoor range. Uh, they have they're they're like this rubber, and they have this these layers on here and they just fit into the ear really good and they don't work themselves out so and they have a little band around them so when you pull them out you can just leave them around your neck you won't lose them or if they fall out you won't lose them and uh but both of these are really good ideas you can get these at walmart that's where i picked them up these run about five bucks these run like two something so we got that and then another one is eye protection. You can get these at Walmart too. These run about seven dollars. And uh, I'm keeping the stuff in the box, so you guys kind of know what to look for when you go to the store. But uh, the nice thing about these is, you know, whether you're using yourself or or whether they use them themselves. Or if they have people that come to the range with them, they can use these. And, you know, these are cheap plastic, you know, so they'll eventually break. They'll get scratched up, you know. So, I mean, these aren't meant to last forever, you know. So, but those are always a good idea, you know. Some eye pro. Alright. Next are these little cheapo magazine loaders you can always throw these in one of the stocking stuffers these come in handy for backups you know you I, I ran off and forgot my range bag once and didn't have nothing to load magazines with and that sucked especially loading pistol magazines so keeping these you know like a backup in the car or whatever is nice so having a bunch of these around just as backup they work really good. Alright, next, let's get on to some cleaning products. Have this. These are just some basic generic ones that I like to use. And this, you got your hoppies right here, Elite. This works really good. It works for everything. Your CLP. I like to use this a lot. And that works. You know, this is all stuff you can find at Walmart too. And then you have a cleaner. This is a foam cleaner. I actually like to use this a lot more than the than the stuff that you dip because this stuff doesn't stink as bad. That other stuff is just horrible. The Hoppy's number nine. It's, it's bad. Yeah. It works good, but it just smells. It'll smell up your whole damn house. So, and other things are in the cleaning category are these brushes. Um, these are, you know, once again, these are more caliber specific because um, this is for nine millimeter. You got the you got a bore brush and a bore mop, but you can actually get um, you can get whole cleaning kits that come with these stuff for all different calibers if you want to go down that road but uh yeah these come in handy because these you know this stuff this is stuff that wears out you know these mops they, they eventually get so dirty that you don't want to use them no more and, and they you know they get built up on these brushes so this is stuff that needs to be replaced a lot another one is um a boar snake these things come in handy um, that are basically a brush they're basically a brush on a nylon rope that you can pull through your barrel and your bore 
So these work really good and they have them in all different calibers. Like if you know somebody that's got a 22 rifle and an AR, there you go, two in one. So those come in handy. And we have uh, we have um, cleaning wipes. There we go. I was blanking on the name there for a second. But we have these cleaning wipes. They come in all. They have a, all different calibers. Yeah. Let's see, you can see there. Cleans anything from. 30 to 45 caliber. They have them pre. These are already pre-cut. They have them for shotguns. They have them for 22s. So those come in really handy. Those are nice to have. These ones. Uh, these are patches on the end of a stick. They come in really handy. These are great for. Um, these are great for uh, cleaning rifles. Especially like AR-15s to get down in there into the spot where you can't reach. Clean inside your bolt carrier group. These things work great. These are all you can find these all at Walmart. So easy to find, not too expensive. All right, now let's move on to some more stuff. Gun guys just don't like, or gun people just don't like gun stuff. You know, it does come in handy, but, you know, majority of us are also into EDC stuff, everyday carry. So whether, you know, and knives are good options. You know, they don't have to be super expensive. They can be expensive if you want to. You know, they have a little Spyderco, Microtech, and this little cheap Kershaw. You know, these things make great stocking stuffers too nice to do and there's all different brands out there so those those are really nice to get other ones here other things you can do flashlights flashlights come in handy for everything everybody loves flashlights so they you know all different types of flashlights. This is an O light. I'll have a video coming out on this soon. This is just a cheap light that I bought at Harbor Freight, 600 lumens. wasn't very expensive. Now this one is a little bit more specific. This is a bore light for firearms. You can see it's on a little bendy edge here. It has a little LED here. Turn it on, and you shove this up into the there you go. into the bore so you can see down your barrel and check to see if it's clean if there's any obstructions this comes in handy if you're buying used firearms you can check the bore to make sure that it's not it's all good but these I bought this at Walmart this is like five bucks just takes one little uh, AAA battery those are really nice those come in handy um, multi tools these have come in handy and I got two different sizes here I got the regular full size and I got a little pocket one and these come in handy because you know you could throw them in a range bag you could throw them in a fishing a fish, uh, tackle box you can carry them on you a lot of people like these most gun people do they just come in handy they have all different types you can get ones that are specifically for firearms Leatherman makes them other, other people make them and these ones are like little personal care ones so those come in those come in handy too a lot of people like those and um yeah so that's about it um i would say that uh if you um make a stocking stuffer or something like that out of some of these products you know, for a person, a gun person in your life, they'll enjoy it. There'll be some stuff that's in there that's useful. Maybe, you know, they get some new stuff. Maybe like some new lights or some new pocket knives or a multi-tool. You know, everybody likes getting that stuff. And then, you know, 
if I can get cleaning products that I don't have to pay for, that's gravy. So I enjoy that a lot. But um, yeah, that's my holiday gift guide for 2020. Stocking stuff or gift guide, I should say. And um, like I said, I'll have some links down in the description for some of these products, not all of them. And uh, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Um, if it helps you out with any gift ideas, leave a comment, let me know. If you, if you want to add anything, and down in the comment section, maybe something I missed, maybe another good idea, let me know because I can probably do another one of these next year. And um, yeah, give me a, if you like my channel, subscribe. I do all different types of videos. I don't just do gun stuff. I do EDC stuff and everything. And um, yeah, so have a Merry Christmas, a Happy New Year's, and thanks a lot, guys. I'll see you later.